Bye 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 and welcome to X Take Breaks Originals. And for tonight's episode, we will be featuring Europa Stars like a custom by X Take Breaks, of course. Here's our closer look. Hello there guys and we're back for this closer look at our Europasaurus and as you can see here we have our winner of the Guesses PC Contest uh, Challenge uh, this is the uh, uh, this is uh, Cretaceous Bricks and uh, um, he'll be presenting this particular um, species of sauropods for today but later on he'll be coming back later on for some size comparisons so we have here our Europasaurus and this is actually based off from a really good um, uh, you know, interpretation or at least um, design from this particular photo over here. So in this photo you can see it is actually based off from the graphic novel of Oliver Wings and Joshua Nook. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly but um, it had this uh, whitish coat to it with several details of uh, olive green, orange, and also black on the underside of the neck. So I think it's a really cool design. So I have applied it here, and I hope it's okay with them. Uh, so uh, we 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 recreated the Europasaurus because in the Jurassic Islands, um, everything seems to be smaller in scale, at least for the sauropods. And uh, the Europasaurus is actually one of the you know, um, uh, smallest um, species of sauropods that was ever discovered and um, like the name implies, it's actually discovered in Europe. So, um, so here is a Europasaurus, it's actually a brachiosaurid of some sort and uh, um, it has the overall, you know, um, makes up a body of the brachiosaurus where the front legs are quite, well, as appear to be much longer because of um, the sh shoulder blades as well and then of course the the neck is quite long and um, is situated towards um, this quite angle um, uh, it had a long tail and of course a robust body for its size as well so um, like I said this one is actually based off from the graphic novel and um, the design here is that the overall uh, body composition or body base color would be uh, white and then it has some details of olive green on, uh, on the surface of the body here it has some details of orange um, coloration just uh, on top of the black uh, uh, black details on the bottom of the uh, of the mouth until uh, some parts of the neck at least a third of the upper part of the neck like so and it has some details of you know um, white speckling all over of course this uh, this particular figure has a uh, what do you call this a stud on the back because it's a Lego figure and of course it can attach to a base plate base plate if needed so that's it for the closer look on this one well at least for um, for articulation, you can, you know, um, articulate the neck like so, and then of course the, the legs can move as well. Still static, but nonetheless, it's still something that you can uh, really uh, play with, and of course, make several um, uh, changes in its uh, display and also its in position. So, that's it for the close on the guys. Let's move on to the next portion of the video. And we have here our uh, Europasaurus and of course Cretaceous uh, bricks uh, back for some size comparisons and comparing it in terms of size with our human uh, counterpart over here you can see that it's actually almost oops sorry about that it's almost actually the same size as with the um, described here on the right side of the video now let's compare our Europasaurus with other sauropods that we've had here first we have our um, smallest of the figures that we've done so far at least Ibito universe has done so far and this is the smallest of the known species of sauropods the Amdemnosaurus so the Amdenosaurus is actually also 
available in uh, the newly uploaded um, video of uh, Ibito Universe so please check it out guys it's one of the first um, figures that uh, he's actually doing outside of Jurassic World the game so please check it out guys so this is a really cool figure um, and uh, it has a ton of details as well as you can see uh, on this particular closer looks but I'm not going to you know um, spill it out for you guys so please check out the video on the Amdemnosaurus alright so another one will be the Mosaurus over here which is quite uh, you know in smaller in terms of um, um, height over here but definitely this is much longer than our Europasaurus and uh, this is one of those uh, figures or at least species that was uh, you know included in the novel of Jurassic I'm not sure if it's Jurassic Park 1 or uh, The Lost World but uh, at least it's part of the you know novelization so that is why we also have it here so check out the uh, full video of the Mosaurus in EV Toy or I mean Extinct Breaks um, list of uh, customs another one would be a recent creation that I also made uh, this is the uh, Nigerosaurus and uh, like I said in the video it's actually one of those that I you know been wanting to create so far because it's such a unique um, unique sauropod as well it had that um, really weird looking uh, skull to it so that is why we actually created the um, uh, Nigerosaurus so if you haven't seen the video guys yet on the Nigerosaurus, please check it out also here on X Ink Breaks as well. Uh, another of the medium sized sauropods that I also created here on X Ink Breaks would be the Amargosaurus, and it's one of the more decorated figures actually that I have. It's almost looking like a uh, level 40 <laughs> level 40 creature as it has this uh, kind of sail on the neck and also some additional details on the back of its body that is why it's looking you know very similar to a level 40 uh, uh, figure but in actuality this is how a you know a margosaurus would look like and i really like doing really weird looking dinosaurs so if you do, do have other suggestions of other weird looking dinosaurs then please comment them down below in the comment section i'd like to you know um take a look at those um species and probably recreate those in lego form and lastly would be the shunosaurus also a weird looking dinosaur in my in my opinion and as you can see here it's definitely much larger oopsie ow than our um, uh, Europasaurus it had the um, infamous what do you call that club tail which is usually present only in um, ankylosaurs uh, and ankylosaurids I mean and yeah so if you haven't seen yet the video on the Shunosaurus please check it out it's a cool video and I did a ton of you know um, uh, uh, a ton of other techniques in terms of painting as you can see here uh, uh, on, on, on how it looks like it's quite simple actually but um, in reality uh, it's a really really fun way to paint uh, your figures as well so please check it out the Shunosaurus and that's it for the size comparisons guys let's now move on to the next points of the video and this is Extinct Breaks PC Rokol and we have here all the creatures that you've seen here and if you do have other you know sauropods in mind uh, that you'd like to see here on Extinct Breaks then please comment them down below I'd like to read them up probably we can include those as long as you know we have the specific base figure for it <laughs> uh, also um, Cretaceous Breaks here would like to remind you guys that all that you see here is actually available in our Extinct Breaks playlist but I'll also be including uh, the links of all of these specific you know sauropods that you see here so that you won't have to go through all of the videos that we have um, so yeah so let's start with our extinct breaks PC roll call starting from this side this is our extinct breaks version of the uh, Nigerosaurus our extinct breaks version of the um, Shonosaurus uh, the Ibitoy universe version of the Amdanosaurus 
uh, our extinct prince version of the um, Jurassic Park novel uh, Mosaurus and of course uh, on the back here would be our extinct extinct prince version of the Amargosaurus and of course the start of the show here this is our extinct prince uh, version of the uh, Europosaurus uh, actually inspired by the um, uh, um, novel uh, version of uh, Oliver uh, Oliver Wing and um, uh, Sir Nook so uh, if you guys uh, really enjoyed this particular video please give it a like uh, share it with your friends and also consider um, uh, you know subscribing to the channel if you haven't uh, yet so uh, yeah so that's it for the video guys thank you so much for, for watching and I'll see you on the next also, please do not forget to support our other channels, Ibizo Universe, The Adventures of Mara and Asher, and Little Mind's Kitchen. Please watch their videos and support our channel by subscribing, guys. And as we always would say, let your inner dino brick roar! Thanks everyone! Bye!